Guys, uh, just recently, Debbie and I were uh, really delighted to watch a fantastic documentary. It's based on Johnny Cash, the legendary country singer, and the Cash family. It's called Long Road Home, the Cash family's untold story. It's it's riveting, it's fascinating, it's heartbreaking in parts, and it's it's faith-affirming, it's inspirational. I'm thrilled to say I'll be offering this documentary inside of my Locals channel. You'll be able to either buy the movie and stream it, or subscribe to my channel and you'll get the movie included in that. <laughs> and um, I'm going to start by playing a short clip from the movie, after which I'm going to bring on Mark Allen Cash, the nephew of Johnny Cash, and actually one of the central characters of this documentary. So let's watch the clip, and then I'll introduce Mark Allen Cash. Here we go. It's a darkness that I that I can't describe. It's a hopelessness. Walk the Line is a sweet Hollywood movie, but that's not the real deal. I think it was really hard for Dad to trust anyone. Being in the Cash family, there's an expectation as not being a letdown. You know, I thought I was tough until I got that phone call. Guys, I'm uh, thrilled to welcome to the podcast Mark Allen Cash. Now, Mark Allen Cash is the nephew of Johnny Cash. In fact, he's the son of Johnny Cash's brother, Tommy Cash. And he's a musician and songwriter in his own right. As I mentioned, he's a key figure. In fact, one of the most, uh, I, I think, appealing and interesting characters in Long Road Home, the Cash family's untold story. Uh, Mark Allen, what a pleasure. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is a heck of a documentary, and I got to say, I think what really struck me about it is the way in which, first of all, the Cash family is full of just interesting characters, but also all of you were so self-revealing. You just open up your mind and your heart, and of course, the Johnny Cash family home, and I almost felt like I was, I had a window into your family. I mean, I've been a Johnny Cash fan, but I'm, I, you know, I didn't know anything about the family, and at the end of this film, I felt like, wow, I, I really feel like I know you guys, including Including you. Oh, well, thank you so much. First of all, I'm honored to be with you this morning. Um, I, that was first and foremost, the honesty. Um, you know, we had to be very vulnerable. We had to open up doors that we hadn't opened before. And just honesty was the, the only way we could do this. And so I think everybody was uh, brutally honest, um, uh, you know, if I may say. And um, yes, it, um, it's not always comfortable to, to be open um when you're part of this family especially but um that was the only way that we knew that that we had to be now tell me mark allen you've got you've got in johnny cash this sort of superstar and i maybe i can just start by asking you something that's not directly addressed in the film what is it do you think that made your uncle such a superstar was it the fact that he had I mean, to me, he has a very unique voice. In other words, if you hear it anywhere, even if you're doing something else, you're like, that's Johnny Cash. And there are not that many singers where you can say that they're instantly recognizable. I don't just mean the sound of the voice, but what he's singing about has a very Johnny Cash stamp on it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, somebody told me the other day, said he wasn't the best singer in the world. And I said, no, but you listened. You know, you, when he had a message in a song or a message when he was talking, there was something about him that was just genius when he knew, because he knew how to relate to the common people. He knew how to get his message across. He knew people. The, there's two things that I think really um, made him the icon that he was, and that was his, his ability to be honest and his ability to be, uh, to be able to address anybody in the world um, to get on their level, um, he could talk to the president of the United States of America on the phone and hang up and talk to a homeless guy five minutes later on the street. He just knew how to trim tab his personality and his thoughts and behavior to be able to communicate what he wanted to to that person. And he could come down a level or come up a level to talk to the president. He was just amazing. He, he was a brilliant, uh, fascinating human being. But he loved his family. He took care of his family. Uh, he made time for everybody. Uh, he was not arrogant and 
sometimes I, the red carpet gets to folks that are in the entertainment business and um, it didn't to him. Uh, he'd rather walk down a dirt road than he would a red carpet any day, you know? I mean, you know, Mark Allen, I was uh, a kid in India. I'm an immigrant. I came to the country at the age of 17. And I remember hearing a, a boy named Sue when I was probably in my teens. And it just yes. sort of, it turned my head and I was halfway around the world. And I was like, who, who, who is this guy, you know? And, uh, and then, of course, later Folsom City Blues and then some of the spirituals. They have a very distinctive timber. I think it's the emotionalism in the music, but it's also in this documentary. I mean, you're like that. You sing like that and your voice is like that and you talk like that. And so, I mean, I got to say, I see in you that the, the distinctive stamp, obviously, of your dad, but also of your uncle. Well, thank you so much. And um, a woman told Uncle Johnny one day, he said, Mark sounds a lot like you. He said, he can't help it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm just, um, you know, I, I'm amazed at his um, uh, talent and amazed at, at, um, at Johnny Cash never realized how famous he really was. Um, he did not. That's the only thing I think he didn't get is um, how famous and how much of a, you know, he said, he made this comment, he said, 10 or 15 years after I've passed, nobody will care about a shirt that I had or a guitar that I once owned. And, you know, he was wrong about that. Um, we have people come to the farm here in Bon Aqua, Tennessee daily and are just shocked to see anything that he held on to or that he called dear or the property that he walked. Uh, he said, when you come off stage from 100,000 people, you have to come back to you. And you have to, and he did that at the farm by walking the creek and and just uh, being alone uh, to come back to him and God. Um, God was very important to him. He was very spiritual, and um, you know he he went through some really tough times, but he was able to overcome those hard times with with God and and just by doing the next right thing in life, you know. Let's take a pause. When we come back, we're going to talk about those hard times. Hard times not just for Cash, but many members of the Cash family, alcoholism, addiction, but also the, I mean, the, the sort of tenacious way in which you ultimately were able to overcome those things. We'll be right back. <music> 